सो जय हिंद एवरी वन माई नेम रितेश शर्मा आई एम फ्रॉम अजय कुमार इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो आई एम टेकिंग सब्जेक्ट फंडामेंटल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन फर्स्ट ईयर एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक सम प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन मैश एनालिसिस सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द मैश एनालिसिस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैश मैश एनालिसिस ना टूडे वी विल कवर सम सॉल्व सम मोर प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन मैश एनालिसिस सो लेट एस टेक द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट इज द फाइंड द अप्लाई द मैश एनालिसिस इन द फॉलोइंग सर्किट टू फाइंड द मैश करेंट इन डिफरेंट मैशेस सो इफ द सर्किट डी सी सर्किट इज गिवन टू अस ओके एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैश करेंट इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मैश एज मैं ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू कंसिडर दैट हाउ मेनी मैशेज आर देयर सो यू कैन सी दैट we have three meshes you can see this is the first one this is mesh number 1 mesh number 2 and this is the third mesh and we all know that what is mesh okay mesh is the smallest loop actually so let us solve this question by with the help of mesh analysis so in these three meshes we have to write first the mesh equations which is based on the kirchhoff's voltage law okay so suppose we take the uh, first we take the mesh number 1 in the mesh number 1 we will apply the kvl and similarly for the mesh 2 and mesh 3 but before that we have to to check that is there any current source because if there is a current source we cannot apply the kvl in that particular mesh so we can see that we have a current source of 5 ampere and this current source is shared by mesh number 1 and mesh number 3 mesh 1 and mesh 3 as you can see so with you can see that the current source with this uh, current source we can see that the i1 i1 minus i3 is equal to 5 ampere we can see that from this uh, from this current source Uh, which is shared between the one and three. We can write I one. I one is going in this direction, and I three is going in that direction. So I one minus I three is equal to five. This is our first equation. This is equation of one. Now, <clears throat> so this current source is in uh, first and third mesh. So it is quite uh, not possible for us to apply the KVL. But we can apply the KVL in this. Uh, second equation second mesh sorry so in the second mesh you can see that if we started from this so this is current is going in this direction this is plus this is minus this is plus this is minus this is plus this is minus so we can write the current equation in this here here suppose that uh, the current is going this to minus 2 minus 2 and the current is i2 in this branch Minus three, and the current is I two minus I three because current I two is going in the uh, in this direction, and current I three is going in this direction. So I two minus I three minus I three. Then in this branch, which is shared between the first and the second. the resistance is 1 ohm so minus 1 current is i2 minus i1 equal to 0 simple kvl is this so what is kvl is in like any closed loop the algebraic sum of the voltage drop is equal to 0 so this is the our kvl equation now we can solve this equation so we can write here आई वन टू आई टू थ्री आई टू फाइव आई टू एंड सिक्स आई टू माइनस सिक्स आई टू टू एंड थ्री फाइव एंड वन सिक्स एंड आई थ्री थ्री आई थ्री प्लस थ्री आई थ्री इक्वल सो दिस इज अवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू दिस इज फर्स्ट दिस इज सेकेंड now the third equation third equation can be extract from 
because we cannot apply the KVL in the first and the third. So we have to take an alternative way for that. So for that, let us take a, another uh, loop. So loop will be, we can take this one loop a green. We can show by the green. Okay. So in this green loop, we can say that we will apply the Kirchhoff voltage law. So when we apply the Kirchhoff voltage law in this loop, uh, let us write equation for that. So starting from here, so voltage drop will be there. So we can write in a separate way. So minus two. So my uh, uh, mesh equation, mesh equation is given by so minus two. Minus two I two minus two I two then it will go to this direction. This is plus, this is minus. So minus one, this is in this uh, mesh we have the I three current, so minus one I three. So minus one I three. Then it will go here. So this is minus, this is plus the voltage rise of ten volt. The ten volt will be there plus 10 equal to 0. So you can see that in this particular loop, the KVL or the mesh equation is given by this. So minus 2 I2 minus 1 I3 and plus 10 volt plus because the voltage is rising minus 2 plus. So from this we can write uh, <coughs> 2 I2 plus I3 equal to 10 and this is our three third equation actually. So since we have three variables I1, I2 and I3, so we must require the three equation to solve these three variables. So equation number one, equation number two and equation number three we have. Now if we solve these three equations, if we solve these three equations simultaneously, simultaneously uh, with the help of calculators or you can solve some grammar rules. So we will get the value of I1, I2 and I3 will be given by, I am just writing the uh, values of this I1 must be equal to 8.75, sorry 57 ampere and uh, I2 mesh current actually is given by 3.21 ampere and the third I3 will be equal to 3.57 ampere. So these are the I1, I2, I3 we can find with the help of these three equations. So these are the mass current actually. Now uh, these are the mass current which we have to find in different different meshes. So this is the way or the, uh, the the process procedure to find the mesh current. Okay. So now let us take a, uh, another problem to solve such problems because this is one of the problems which having the current source or we can sometimes we also call it the super mesh. Whenever there is a current source in a particular mesh, we uh, consider it as a super mesh problem. So this is the problem of super mesh. So in the super mesh, what will happen? We cannot apply the KVL in that particular mesh. Like here in mesh number one and mesh number three. So this current source is lying in uh, is in mesh one and mesh three. So we cannot apply the uh, your uh, KVL. So that's why we apply the KVL in the this particular loop. Means we have to avoid it. Okay. So in a similar way, we can solve the second problem. And the second one is that find the mesh current. Again, we have to find the mesh current using the mesh analysis for this particular problem. So again, we can say that we have considered our th three meshes, I1, I2, since we have three meshes in this circuit. So I1, I2 and I3 are the three currents. Okay. Now again, in a similar fashion, we will apply the uh, concept of KVL to solve such circuit. So we have three meshes. So in mesh number one, so let us take in uh, mesh number one in mesh number one in mesh and mesh 
1. So in mesh 1 means we have taken this in the mesh 1. Okay, this is the mesh 1. So current is going, I1 is flowing to plus and minus. The current we have considered in clockwise direction. This is plus, this is minus. So voltage drop is taking place actually. So the equation will be minus 10 I1. Since I1 is a current flowing through, I1 is a current flowing through this. Now, when the your uh, loop current come to this, this is plus, this is minus, the so minus 10, and this resistance is shared by these three. So here the current I3 is going here and I1 is going. So I1 minus I3. I1 minus I3. Minus 10. I1 minus I3. Okay. Again, uh, here it is minus plus minus, so minus 10, I1 minus I2, minus 10, I1 minus I2, okay. Coming to the next, we come to this point, here this is minus, this is plus, it means that the voltage is right, 100 volt, the so plus 100 will be there, so plus 100 equal to 0, this is our KVL or mesh equation. So from here, you can see that 10 I1, 10 I1, 10 I1, so minus 30 I1. And then we have a plus 10 I2 and a plus 10 I3 and plus 100 equal to 0. So this could be written as uh, if we divide by 10, and take the I1, I2, I3 in that side. So you will 3 I1 minus uh, I2 minus I3 equal to 10. This is equation number. Number 1. This is our equation number 1. Clear. So 3 I1 minus I2 minus i3 equal to 10 is our is the equation of this mesh first mesh or our first mesh equation now let us take a second mesh this is our second mesh where i2 is current is flowing this is first mesh second one and third one this is the third one we have taken the three meshes sorry so in mesh number two So in mesh, I am taking in the different color in mesh 2, in mesh 2. So simply by looking at this mesh, suppose that we started from this point. So this is plus, this is minus and this is shared by I2 and I3. This resistance is shared by this. I2 is flowing in this direction and I3 is flowing in there. So I2 minus I2. So minus 10 minus 10 i2 minus i3 okay minus 10 i2 then at this point plus minus the voltage will drop again so plus 2 minus so this is minus 50 then at this point this is plus this is minus so i2 and i1 so i2 minus i1 so minus 10 i2 minus i1 equal to 0 equal to 0 so this is the mass equation so you solve it further so 10 i2 10 i2 and it is at uh, plus 10 i1 then 10 i2 and 10 i2 to 20 i2 minus 20 i2 then we have 10 i uh, i3 10 i3 plus 10 i3 and this must be equal to 50 five zero we will take in on the right hand side or we can also further simplify it as a i uh, divided by 10 so it is i1 minus 2 i2 plus i3 equal to 5 divided by 10 simple and this will become our second equation. Second, I one. The simplest equation. This is the okay. So first equation. This 
and the second equation to, or second mesh equation i1 minus i2 sorry minus 2 i2 plus i3 equal to 5. So now coming to the third mesh this is our third mesh which is current i3 the loop current so in this the current i3 is going in this direction actually so first take it as a uh, minus 10 i3 let me take it with the different color uh, yes so minus 10 i3 in mesh third in mesh third the minus 10 i3 and then inside it is going in the so i3 minus i2 now i3 is going in the direction i2 is going in that direction so minus 10 i3 minus i2 minus 10 i3 because i3 is dominating i2 and here minus 10 i3 minus i1 minus 10 i3 minus i1 equal to 0 this is i1 okay this is i3 so let us solve it again so how many i i ones are there 10 i1 so 10 i1 and um, 10 i2 plus 10 i2 and 10 i3 10 i3 10 i3 minus 30 i3 equal to 0 further uh, further solving it will be your i1 plus i2 minus 3 i3 equal to 0 this is our third equation this is our third equation so so yes, let me verify these equations uh, so that we will get the correct answer so i1 is our 3i1 minus i2 minus i3 equal to 5 or oh, sorry uh, i3 10 second equation i1 minus 2i2 plus i3 equal to 5 and the third one is i1 plus i2 i1 plus i2 minus 3i3 equal to 0 so solving equation solving equation 1 equation 1 2 and 3 we will get the value of i1 will be equal to uh, 3.75 ampere we can solve it via simple calculator actually we can just put the value of this coefficient and then we will get the answer directly so 3.75 i2 will be equal to 0 i3 will be equal to your uh, 1.25 ampere 1.25 ampere so i1 i2 i3 can be determined so this is the mesh current and when we know the mesh current we can find the current in any branch actually okay and accordingly we can find the power or voltage drop in any branch or we can solve any parameters of the circuit so this is the uh, one of the problem so answer is i1 is 3.75 i2 is 0 and i3 is 1.25 further let us say another problem based on the KV, this uh, mesh analysis so here find the current in the 40 ohm resistance using mesh analysis so we have to find the current in the 40 ohm resistance using mesh analysis so we can see that here we have uh, three meshes first one is this let me take the uh, first let me i1 i1 i2 and i3 we can assume the current in any direction either clockwise or anti clockwise but as a convention okay so accordingly we have to solve the kvl 
KVL. Okay. So it's um, uh, I I just take it in the uh, in clockwise direction actually. Okay. So I one, I two, I three. These are the three currents which are which are called the mesh current. Okay. Now let us solve. This is simply our mesh number one, mesh number two, and mesh number three. So by simply by uh, seeing this circuit, there is a current source. Whenever there is a current source in any mesh, so this current source will give you some information. Like in this current third loop or third mesh, you can see directly that I three is equal to minus one ampere. Because the current source of one ampere is going in this direction, and I we have assumed that I have assumed that the current in I three which is going opposite, hence I three will be equal to minus of minus one ampere. Clear this thing? So this information we will got, or simply it is the very equation number one. You can say this is the equation number one. Now we will apply the uh, KVL or mesh equation in one and two, and then further we solve it. So let us take the first. Uh, KVL are uh, applying the mesh equation in mesh number one. So in mesh number one, here is start plus minus plus my uh, plus and minus. So voltage drop is there. So ten minus uh, applying KVL in mesh one. So when we apply the KVL in mesh one, so minus ten. Minus ten. Now current will be I one. So the I one current. This branch only having the I one current. Ten minus ten I one. Then in this branch here, the forty ohm resistance and the current is I one and I two. So I one minus I two is the effective current actually. So minus forty I one minus I two. Then we come to here. Here minus plus the voltage rise of five volt plus five volt equal to zero. So by simplifying this, so forty plus this fifty I one for ten plus fifty I one. Then forty uh, plus sorry, ten plus ten minus fifty. Then plus forty I two plus five equal to zero. Or you can say that fifty uh, i one minus forty i two equal to five. Or further, we can change it to ten i one divided by five, eight i two equal to one. This is my first equation. Equation number one. Then let us see the second mesh. The second mesh. The current is I two, the mesh or mesh current, loop current or mesh current. So starting from here, minus plus minus, so plus minus this minus sixteen. Uh, applying KVL in mesh two. So mesh two means this. So minus sixteen current is I two. Minus sixteen I two plus minus voltage drop eight minus eight current is I two minus I three I two minus I three and then here plus minus the forty minus forty shared by I two minus I one. I two minus I one equal to zero. So from this equation, we can say that I one, I two, and I three. So I one is our plus forty around plus forty I one. I two is forty and eight and sixty. So twenty four and forty. Twenty four and forty sixty four minus minus. And I three must be equal to your plus eight I three equal to zero. So I one is forty. Uh, so we can divide by eight. So if, so we can simplify it. Eight I one uh, divided by eight uh, five I one 
माइनस एट आई टू प्लस आई थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो दिस वेल दिस मस्ट बी अवर सेकेंड इक्वेशन सो फाइव आई वन लेट मी वेरीफाई दिस इक्वेशन फर्स्ट दिस सो इक्वेशन इज फाइव आई वन माइनस एट आई टू प्लस आई थ्री माइनस एट आई टू प्लस इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज दिस दिस इज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन दिस इज अवर सेकेंड इक्वेशन नाउ थर्ड इक्वेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिटरमाइन बाय आई थ्री इज इक्वल टू दिस सो आई थ्री वी कैन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई थ्री ओर है and if we put the value of i3 we have two variables i1 and i2 and if we put the value we will get the values of current uh, you can write down the i1 is equal to when we solve this so we will get i1 must be equal to um 0 i2 is equal to 0.125 minus in minus sign 125 ampere This is our i1 and i2, and i3 we have already calculated. So when we have to calculate the <coughs> the current in the 40 ohm resistance, means current in the 40 ohm resistance, current in 40 ohm resistance must be given by 40 means i1 minus i2. So when we take i1 minus i2, i1 minus i2, so i1 is zero. And I two is minus of this zero point one two five is equal to zero point one two five ampere. So this is the current which is flowing through this branch. And since it is taken at positive, means current is flowing from top to bottom. This is the direction of current actually. So. we can solve such numerical or problems of mesh analysis by taking by applying this concept of kvl simply so there is a one more problem which is uh, solved uh, suppose this is the find the value of current uh, current in each branch of circuit shown in uh, using the mesh analysis okay so means suppose this is our circuit and we have to find the current in each branch using the mesh analysis so suppose that we have this problem and the current i1 i2 and i3 i have we have assumed in clockwise direction in these three different different mesh and and when we apply the kirchhoff's voltage law in different mesh suppose in mesh number 1 it is uh, like a b h g a so a b h g a means in this mesh in this mesh this is mesh or you can say mesh number 1 or you can also name it okay a b c d so when we apply so plus to minus minus 60 i1 because current i1 then minus 30 i1 minus i1 is going in the direction i3 is going in the direction i1 minus i3 plus minus minus 50 i1 minus i2 Minus plus minus to minus twenty and here minus plus to plus hundred because voltage is rising here. So this is first equation. We solve it. We will get this equation. First equation number. Okay, this is our first equation for or mesh equation number one. Similarly, for the second one, second one means in the second mesh we started suppose from here. So plus twenty. Suppose start from the this. So minus plus. Is a plus twenty, then minus fifty i two minus i one, then minus forty i two minus i three, minus ten i two, and plus fifty. So in this particular mesh, this is the uh, KVL equation. And further, if we solve it, we will get this equation. The question number one, equation number two. Last for this uh, uh, mesh B C D E B. B C D H B B B C D E H B. Okay, so for this we can do minus twenty I three minus twenty I three forty I three minus I two forty I three minus I two then thirty I three minus I one 
30 i3 minus i1 and then again further we solve it we will get the same question so equation number 3 okay so further when we solve these three three equations three variable we will get this equation i1 equal to 1.65 ampere i2 equal to 2 point uh, 1 to 2 point 1 okay so i1 i2 and i3 is the answer for that so similarly when we have to calculate the in a branch current if we have to calculate the current in the any branch so we can find the current in any branch like 60 ohm 30 ohm 50 ohm 40 ohm so we can take the effective current in that branch suppose in the in the current in the 60 ohm branch 60 means this branch only i1 is flowing in 30 ohm in this 30 ohm there is a current of i1 minus i3 i1 minus i3 so this is the current so we have to also show the the current direction so if it is positive means it is the whatever direction we have taken it is correct if it is negative then is direction which is opposite that we have assumed actually so this is how we can uh, calculate the current in any branch of this is uh, the some problems which was which were based on the your mesh analysis and i hope the student will benefit from this uh, lectures so thank you so much jai hind